Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Stuart Popham. I'm the, the chairman of uh, the City UK, and I have the very great pleasure in welcoming you all here this morning. And it really is great to see so many people. I think we at um, the City UK are really thrilled to be able to convene uh, so many uh, of you together here to enjoy this debate and, and at an absolutely appropriate time that we should be uh, discussing financial services role uh, in the future. Um, I'm going to be your MC today, uh, but before really saying anything more at all beyond asking you to turn off uh, your various electronic aids, um, I will, what I really want to do is introduce Sir Andrew Khan, the Vice uh, Chairman of Nomura, who is today our very generous host. Andrew, over to you, sir. Stuart, thank you very much. Welcome to uh, number one, Angel Lane. Welcome to Numura, Asia's global investment bank. I'm personally really delighted that we have City UK here today. Uh, in my previous job as Chief Executive of UK Trade and Investment, I was um, uh, one of the people who urged the city to uh, establish something like City UK. Um, I was delighted that Sir Wynne Bischoff, who I think is here today, uh, and Peter Levine and others picked up that baton. And I'm, I'm really very pleased with what has come out. And I think City UK should be proud of what it's achieved uh, in its short life and rather daunted about what it needs to achieve uh, in the years to come. Um, I admire uh, City UK's ambition in having a conference at this particular time devoted to the long term, 2020 and beyond. It, you might think that there are some one or two short term issues confronting us, but it's, it's quite right that we do look at the long term. Uh, and I just sort of uh, offer you three uh, things which I think, uh, I hope will come out of this morning's session. Uh, one is how do we, the professional and financial services uh, in this country, uh, how do we contribute to society's good, society's long-term goals? Uh, it's, it's so easy to take a short-term view, and it's so easy to look inwards at ourselves, but actually, unless we can persuade society that we are an essential part of social good and that we contribute to society, we, don't, uh, we, will, not, uh, we will not thrive. Secondly, how do we facilitate trade more effectively? I was in Geneva yesterday at the World Economic Forum uh, and I was struck how they, their ambition is that they will have a summer Davos in China, which will be as big, as effective, but Asian, uh, as the winter Davos in Europe. Uh, unless we can facilitate trade, unless we can make Britain the center of trade, particularly with the emerging countries, particularly with Asia, again, we will fail. And the last thing is, can we persuade the government the regulators, and indeed the voters, that certainty and long-termism is essential. We're in, we in Nomura are a major inward investor in this country, and what we look for is political certainty, regulatory certainty, and uh, voter support. And those things are difficult to achieve, but they're absolutely vital. Let me leave you with one last thought. Early in my career, I spent a lot of my time uh, trying to reform the CAP, the Common Agricultural Policy. And I was thinking about how there are just some similarities, and I'm trying to be provocative, uh, some similarities between the Common Agricultural Policy and, and the financial and professional services. Uh, we appear both to need quite a lot of taxpayer support. Um, we are both essential services, which you can't actually do without. Uh, in both cases, the rest of the world really can't understand why Europe can't get on and do the reform it needs to do. Um, and lastly, in both cases, it turns out that the answer lies with Germany. When reforming the CAP, everybody thought it was France who was the obstacle. It was always Germany that was the obstacle. We still have a, an issue. I don't want to take the parallel too far because it would be very gloomy to think that financial and professional services are remotely like uh, the common agricultural policy. Uh, but there are one or two, uh, you might think about the parallel. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this morning. Thank you very much to City UK for coming here. Uh, and again, welcome to Nomura.
Andrew, thank you, thank you very much indeed, um, both for those opening remarks, and I wasn't sure whether the German ambassador is already here, um, uh, and more particularly uh, for your hosting of this event, which really is very generous of you. So on behalf of all of us here today, thank you very much in, indeed for that. Now, we do have a very busy schedule, you may have noticed, um, so busy that there is actually only one uh, coffee break. It's going to feel, I'm afraid, a little bit like a four-hour examination, but by the end of it, uh, you will be educated and I'm sure will have passed with flying colours. Um, we have been really very keen to ensure uh, that all our speakers have enough time to share their views, and that's really the reason for that. And please note, not only are we going to share their views, but um, up there somewhere on the top left, um, we are tweeting. Uh, I'm sure we're already trending. Um, and please um, note uh, the hashtag uh, debate2012. So we've got that one. Um, you will notice also that in front of you, or in front of the seat next to you, there is a microphone. Um, which you can pull out, please don't practice, um, and then you need to switch it on and then you can ask uh, questions. A number of our speakers have uh, said that they will take questions at the end of their sessions. Um, so I'm just going to re restrain myself to making one or two small comments. First, I, I want to be able to say now, uh, lest some of them disappear before the end, a really big thank you to all of our speakers for making available their time, for sharing their time and their views uh, with us today, particularly those who've had to travel some distance. So thank you very much indeed. Um, secondly, just a little bit more about our theme. I feel particularly strongly that our industry has to look to the future uh, to help make that future better, providing jobs, uh, greater economic growth, opportunities for a brighter future. I think we've spent enough time looking at the past we all agree that the industry has not been in the right place. But rather than continue, I think, to dwell on that, we now need to look to the future and to concentrate on what we can do, not on what we cannot or shouldn't uh, do or should have done. We need to create that vision of the future for the financial services industry. So today's debate looks to that future, 2020, we've said, and how to meet the challenges that there will be there. We will look at it, I think, from all vantage points. First, uh, with Mark Hoban, the Financial Secretary to the Treasury. Then with Douglas Flint, the Chairman of HSBC. And followed by Mario Nava from the European Commission. And David Liddington, uh, the Europe Minister. Truly, I think, a constellation of stars. Uh, then on to three panel sessions uh, on trade, on business finance, and on sustainable projects and energy uh, in the future. And in addition, we're particularly fortunate, as I've already mentioned, to have the German ambassador uh, to give us the German perspective in that. And finally, Chris Leslie, the Shadow Financial Secretary. So first, it is my very great pleasure to invite Mark Hoban to address us. Uh, Mark has done much to engage with the industry and has been particularly helpful uh, to us at uh, the City UK. Mark, thank you very much.